Hey, this is Ben with advice from a Pentecostal pastor. And today I want to talk about five things you can do to elevate your existence. Uh, this is general advice that applies to a host of life situations, uh, but it is principled advice that helps you get your mind around what you need to do to go from where you're at to where you want to be. So step uno, if you want to elevate your existence, the first thing you really need to make sure of is are you locked in? If you can ratchet yourself in life, then you can make sure that you don't roll backwards. Uh, you want to make sure you put things in place where you can at least maintain what you are doing. Now, this leads into step two. If you are going to lock yourself in, step two is in areas that you can seek to move forward and lock yourself in. So if you are going to do something, make sure that you can lock that next step in as well. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't take on more that you can't hold on to. But in planned strategic ways, lock yourself in to that next level of operation for yourself, for your family, for the things you want to do. So number two, lock in. Number three, as you are maintaining and then as you're able to ratcheting it in, you need to take time to refocus. This is essential. You need to do things that allow your mind to recenter. Because if you don't do this, uh, you're going to lose focus and you're not going to be able to keep your eye on the things it needs to be focused on. So what do you do? I would suggest prayer. I would suggest uh, a hobby, exercising, um, resting things that refresh your mind. Do things that let your mind take a back seat and let it restructure and reorganize itself. So lock, ratchet, refocus. And then number four is adjust. You want to look at what you're doing and then you make minor adjustments so that you can do them easier with less stress that will enable you to ratchet even more steps. So Lock, ratchet, refocus, adjust, and number five, repeat. Do it again and again and again. Now, the bonus, really, to do this, to elevate your life, another thing that I think is essential is you need to develop a relationship with God. You need to establish a belief in something that is bigger than you and something that allows you to look inward from a perspective that is not your own. So I would advise you, find a relationship with God and build on that. Other than that, guys, I hope everyone has a great day. Go elevate yourself.